All right, welcome to the channel, you guys. My name is Don Fiction, and this is Ready Set Geek. And as if you clicked on this button, on the play button, that means you read the title. So therefore, you read the title. Let's get right into it. Let's not waste any time. We're gonna switch right over to our other, our other, into our other room, just so you can see what's going on. Boom. Um, just so you see, this is directly from Xbox's Twitter. And it says, today is a historic moment. We are excited to announce that the world-renowned franchises and talented people at Activision Blizzard will be joining Team Xbox. And they have a full announcement details in a, a different post, which we'll be getting to shortly. This is huge for some games that were in trouble coming into the 2022. Now, if we scroll up on the next page, this is Activision Blizzard's um, page and it says we are joining the Xbox family. So that's that's already a positive. Um, then we go down to Nadelia, who is the chairman and CEO of Microsoft Corporation. He posts together with Activision Blizzard, we will we will usher in a new era of gaming that puts players, creators, and uh, and makes games gaming safe, inclusive, and accessible to all. Now, if you don't understand, like. If you're not sure what's going on, why you know why they're selling Activision Blizzard has been going through a lot of turmoil the last year, maybe year and a half, two years, because of all the things that's been happening in house with their there's been lawsuits and all this all this stuff going on. So we can get into that in a whole other thing, in a whole other uh, video. But this right here is letting people know that the environment that they're going to be they be ushering in is going to be safe for men, women men and women of color. Um, it's just going to be a different situation. But also, there has been a disconnect between Activision, Blizzard, and players who play the game and, um, and the creators who play the game on various platforms, Facebook, uh, uh, Twitch, YouTube, um, Trovo, wherever you play that. People who play these games, they have had their complaints or had their issues, tried to reach out to Activision or Blizzard, and, ha and feel like they don't get heard, especially when it comes to Call of Duty and Overwatch. Call of Duty is most, uh, mostly with the, the hacking, the, the cheating in the game, the, 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 the game breaking hacks that make the game unplayable sometimes, especially when it comes to tournaments. And now for Overwatch, it's just the game has been on fumes since the beginning, probably of last year. Like it was supposed to have, it was supposed to go into Overwatch 2. But that put, was postponed, and now with all the drama that's going on behind closed doors and the lack there of leadership and the leadership that have walked off, you know, walked off and left the company, Overwatch is in, it's literally swirling around the drain right now. And it, Overwatch is a game that I play, and I love this game. I really love this game, and I hate to see it in the, in the place that it is right now. Um, but let's get over to the Xbox page where it's welcoming the incredible teams and legendary franchises of Activision Blizzard to Microsoft Gaming. And this is a letter penned by Phil Spencer, who was the CEO of Microsoft Gaming. So let me get some more before we go into this because it's not, not short. Okay. As a team, we're on a mission to extend the joy and community of gaming to everyone on the planet. We all know that gaming is the most vibrant and dynamic form of entertainment worldwide, and we've experienced the power of social connection and friendship that gaming makes possible. So let me actually read the title too for you guys. Creators of Call of Duty, Warcraft, Candy Crush, Tony Hawk, Diablo, Overwatch, Spy Spyro, Hearthstone, Guitar Hero, Crash Bandicoot, Starcraft, and more join Team, team Xbox. As we pursue the mission, it is incredibly exciting to announce that Microsoft has agreed to acquire Activision Blizzard. Now, the fact that it says has agreed to acquire. So I wonder if certain people from Activision reached out to Microsoft for help because they were in a bad position. Over many decades, the studios and teams that make up Activision Blizzard have earned vast wellsprings of joy and respect from billions of people all over the world. We all incredibly, we're all incredibly excited to have the chance to work with the amazing, talented, dedicated people across Activision's publishing, Blizzard Entertainment, Vinox, Demonware, Digital Legends, High Moon Studios, Infinity Ward, King, Major League Gaming, Radical Entertainment, Raven Software, Sledgehammer Games, Toys for Bob, that's a cool name, Treyarch, and, and every team across Activision Blizzard. 
Until this transaction closes, Activision Blizzard and Microsoft Gaming will continue to operate independently. Once the deal is complete, the Activision Blizzard business will report to me as CEO of Microsoft Gaming, Phil Spencer. Upon close, we will offer as many Activision game, Blizzard games as we can with an Xbox Game Pass and PC Game Pass. Both new titles and games from Activision Blizzard's incredible catalog. We also announced today that Game Pass now has more than 25 million subscribers. That's pretty freaking awesome. Congratulations, uh, Xbox. That's dope. Also, as always, we look forward to continue to add more value, more great games to Game Pass. The fantastic franchise across Activision Blizzard will also accelerate our plans for cloud gaming, allowing more people in more places around the world to participate in the Xbox community using phones, tablets, laptops, and other devices you already own. Activision Blizzard games are enjoyed on a variety of platforms, and we plan to continue to support those communities moving forward. Now, for somebody who is on PlayStation, that makes me feel good, but also... The whole thing about the cloud gaming is something they have, they have acquired several other publications and gaming houses within the past two years. And now with this purchase of Activision and Blizzard, this cloud gaming, it's going to be, it's going to be game changing. I'll say that for sure. As a company, Microsoft is committed to our journey for inclusion in every aspect of gaming among both employees and players. We deeply value individual studio cultures. We also believe that creative success and autonomy go hand in hand with treating every person with dignity and respect. We hold all teams and all leaders to this commitment. We're looking forward to extending our culture of proactive inclusion to the great teams across Activision Blizzard. Around the world, there is no more exciting venue for fun and connection than video games. And there has never been a better time to play than right now. Exactly with what the world's going through, more people are spending time at home. As we extend the joy and community of gaming to everyone, we look forward to welcoming all of our friends at Activision Blizzard to Microsoft Gaming. And this is the uh, for it's the picture of Xbox Gaming's leadership. So with that being said, for someone who has played a few of these games on the list that they were talking about, my, my main game that I played for quite a while that I'm slight, slightly addicted to is Overwatch. I love playing Overwatch. Overwatch is a super fun game. Um, now, I haven't played it online in streams on either Twitch or YouTube for quite a while because I just don't like the state, the state of the game right now. Not not necessarily the game, physical game itself, but the behind the scenes, the people who take care of the business, the people who design the game. There's so much going on with that that I felt like playing the game was supporting that. That and that's my personal benefit. That's my personal thought. It has nothing to do with anybody else. I'm not saying other people shouldn't be playing it. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that's how I felt. That's why I chose not to play it. Um, I still play it off stream. I just don't play it and, you know, promote it because I think it's in such a bad state with its executive decisions um, by not hearing people out and not um, being fair to those who have been justly uh, taken advantage of. I felt like me putting, playing the game was saying, hey, that's OK. When not, to me, it's not OK. It's not OK by any means at all. Um, but I personally am excited about what. Xbox and Activision and Blizzard and King can do. I think this is going to change the game for for different reasons. One, because cloud gaming is something that, you know, Google was trying to do. Google was trying to do that with that, that stadium stadium system that's trying to bring out, which I believe is still technically out, but it's just not really making any noise. Now, if Xbox, because of how they have built this catalog of games and houses, now they have this under their one roof, Cloud gaming can be so moment, like such a momentous thing that everyone's going to have to do it now. Sorry, everyone's going to have to do it. And this is this is a big move. This is a very very big move. This is a big boy move by Xbox. And I'm actually I actually think it's dope that they're doing this. Um, hold on, let me see something quick. Okay, there we go. I think this is a big, uh, big boy move by Xbox. And 
I've ne- I've never personally owned an Xbox. I have played on Xbox many of times with friends and from the past, but I've never owned one. Um, I've always had a PlayStation, and because it's just familiarity, so I'm loyal to brands. I'm loyal to stuff like that. So I've always liked Xbox. I I, I actually enjoyed their controllers. Um, I enjoy enjoy some of their games as well that aren't on PlayStation. But this is big. This is big, and I think for many of us who are on P- PlayStation that might be going towards either Xbox console or PC, that Game Pass situation is going to be favorable for all of us. Um, but even if you're just on PlayStation, but you're on PC, you can still get Game Pass and still play the games you love that are, you know, are part of this world. And from what I'm seeing, they're still going to support cross-platform. So that's a beautiful thing. I mean, I think that will be a, a crappy move for them to go to grab his games and this can discontinue cross play. That would make sense. That would be less, um, you make they'll make less money in the long run doing that, and they would make a lot more enemies and, and not, not many friends. Um, then also what they said about having more pay more attention to players and the the creators is big because games like Call of Duty and Overwatch, when it comes to the, to the creator side, if if not for creators, Overwatch will be dead right now because there are people that are still playing this game like strong every day for seven, eight, nine, ten hours a day on Twitch and YouTube and and on Facebook as well. So if not for those people, that game would have died. The the viewership for Overwatch has dropped, I want to say about 75 to 80 percent within the last year. So it's on its last leg. So if if Xbox can do something to help bolster that game, it's it'll be amazing because it's it's an amazing game. It's a, it's a really good game, and it's, I know it's it's difficult for people to see it because it's so complex as what's going on. Like it's because it's it's a true team game. If one person is not carrying their weight, then the whole team loses. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's tough on people. It's not like Call of Duty where you can lose you can lose team teammates and still pull out the dub. And Overwatch, you can have some people that are like star players that can help carry a team but it's not something you can do all the time you know what i'm saying now as far as the others candy crush is one of the biggest mobile games ever you know what i'm saying and the king the king the, you know not the king the king the people who, the creators who make that game that have other games under their belt this is going to make xbox a major player in mobile gaming too and so when it comes to the cloud gaming which we know king is specialized in because of mobile gaming this is going to be amazingly big. I, I just want to see. I want to see what they do. I know it's going to take some time. You know, it's not going to be right away. We're going to see the benefits, which you know, for us being gamers and and geeks and nerds or whatever, there we want to see how it, it turns out. We want to see it now. You know what I'm saying? But we know that's not exactly how it's going to go. We know it's going to take some time. It's, you know, the red, the the ink has to dry. Once the ink has to dry, then the pieces that we put in place to do things the right way accordingly. So because of that, we'll probably be a few months, six, seven, eight months before we see anything that's a change, a difference. Um, but there'll probably be some people that will be let go because of the culture that was there. at Activision Blizzard was not a conducive culture to creativity. Um, it actually stalled a lot of these games. It hurt a lot of these games, um, especially Overwatch. Overwatch, like I said, is on, literally it's literally on its last leg. If you play Overwatch, you know what I'm saying. You understand what I mean. Why people have left, really invaluable people to the game itself have left, and now the game is suffering. It's not a good place. It's just not a good place. Call of Duty is a great game, but it's not in the best of places because of all the hacking. And we everyone knows that Activision doesn't have the staff to take care of that and combat all the hacking. Microsoft does. Microsoft does. So... Call of Duty might end up becoming one of the most secure games you could ever play because of Microsoft. So creators, gamers, players, let me know what you think of this change. Let me know what you think of this acquisition by Xbox of Activision Blizzard and King. Speak into the comments, speak to the chat. Give me the, give me the talk. Let me know what you think. I think this is a, a great thing. And I'm, I'm saying that from as an Overwatch player. I think this is amazing. And as a PS4 player, I love this move. I was I was talking to somebody not a couple weeks back saying they just need to sell and leave it alone. Like they don't need to be a part of this. Like let them have let the games go to somebody that can treat them right and take care of them properly. 
and I think Xbox will be the one. So I'm with it. Let me know what you guys think. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, night, evening, morning, noon, wherever you are in the world today. My name is Nonfiction. This is Ready, Set, Geek. And um, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Have a great night. Enjoy the rest of your week. I appreciate you. I'm out, y'all. Peace.